In the previous video, I defined an algebraic plane curve, a locus of a polynomial in two variables. I promised that we would investigate the behavior of these curves using the implicit derivative. The implicit derivative calculates the slope of a tangent line to a locus. However, it doesn't always work. Sometimes the calculation fails. I showed this last week with vertical tangents. A locus, such as a circle, can have a vertical tangent, and a vertical line has no slope so the implicit derivative can't be defined at such a point. However, in addition to this problem, there can also be points where the tangent line itself isn't defined. There are other problems with implicit differentiation other than just vertical tangents, other places where the implicit derivative will fail. These are called singularities, at least for algebraic plane curves. There's a long history of, study of the, studying the singularities of curves. In many ways, the singularities are often the most interesting points of the curve. The question I want to tackle this week is this. What kind of behavior is possible for the singularities of an algebraic plane curve? What does a plane curve look like at a singularity? Can I classify these singularities into types? This is a nice geometric problem, but I want to use the equations, the algebra, and the calculus of the implicit derivative to solve this geometric problem. In this video, I want to show you that there are two types of singularities that I'll deal with this week. In general, there are many types of singularities, but if I limit myself to a subset of algebraic plane curves, I can talk about just two. So, consider the algebraic plane curve which is the locus of x squared minus y squared equals zero. The graph of this locus is an infinitely extended x shape, two straight diagonal lines which meet at the origin. Everywhere on the first line, the slope is 1. Everywhere, everywhere on the second line, the slope is negative 1. At the origin, though, the two lines cross. There are two different slopes. This means, thinking of the object as one shape and not two different lines, that there is no properly defined slope at the origin, because I don't know how to choose between the one slope and the negative one slope. The previous, previous example was the self-intersection of two pieces of the algebraic plane curve. A self-intersection like this is called a node. If two pieces of the curve, like the two lines in the previous example, meet at a point that is called a double point node, and it's possible for more than two pieces of the curve to intersect at a point. If there are three, it's a triple point node, and then I could define quadruple point, quintuple point, and so on. Here is an algebraic plane curve with three components, a vertical line, a horizontal line, and a loop with unbounded tails. There are two nodes on this curve, at 0, 1, and at 1, 1. At 0, 1, two pieces of the curve intersect, the horizontal line and the sort of top piece of the loop. Two pieces is a double point node. At 1, 1, there are four different paths through the node the vertical line, the horizontal line, one part of the loop coming in from the positive, and a second part of the loop coming in from the negative. The fact that the two paths are part of the same loop is not important, because all I care about is looking right near the node, and right near the node, there are four paths through it. This is a quadruple point node. A node is one of two kinds of singularity I want to introduce this week. The second is a cusp. A node was a self-intersection. No slope was defined because there were several possibilities, too many choices. A cusp is a sharp corner to an algebraic plane curve. No tangent can be defined at a sharp corner. Usually there are infinitely many lines that can be drawn just touching the curve, and all of them will have different slopes. This is the algebraic curve x squared minus y cubed equals zero. This only has one component, there are no multiple pieces, and I can draw the graph in one connected uh, path. This has a cusp at 0, 0. The curve comes to a sharp corner there and then goes away. No tangent can be defined at this point, at the sharp corner. So these are the two kinds of singularities I want to consider, nodes and cusps. Both are possible in algebraic plane curves, and there are many other types of singularities as well, what I, which I won't cover. So how can I determine, just from the equation, what kind of singularities are on a particular curve? 
And that's the question for the next video after this.